Hi, I'm Zach from MMSD and Fresh Coast Guardians. Today I'm going to show you how to install your very own rain barrel. So the first step to installing your rain barrel is to choose your spot. Every rain barrel should be about a few feet away from a downspout. So for this rain barrel, we've chosen this downspout here, and we're going to put the rain barrel right here. After you choose your spot, you're going to prepare your area. So for this spot here, there's already some mulch down. We're going to have to clear this away so we can make a nice level base. After you've cleared your base, you're going to want to put down some gravel. This will help create um, a nice level spot for your cinder blocks. Um, and then you're going to use one of the cinder blocks to help tamp that down and make it nice and firm. After you've created that level base with the gravel, you put down your cinder blocks and then you're going to want to level them. Uh, we have this big level tool, but if you don't have something like this, you can always use an app on your phone. So what you're going to do is going to make sure that it's level this way and level this way for each cinder block. In order to prepare your rain barrel, you're first going to want to attach the spigot and the drain. To attach the spigot and the drain, you're going to want to put it on these pieces first. This creates a seal and a place for you to screw in your spigot and drain. Next, you're going to screw in these pieces. The spigot will go on the top spot and the drain will go on the bottom. To finish preparing your rain barrel, you're going to be drilling into the side of the barrel. This will connect your diverter piece through a tube into the barrel to feed it water. Uh, to do that, you're going to use a small hole saw provided in your kit and choose the appropriate side. For this rain barrel, we're going to choose the left side because that's closest to the downspout. Next, you're going to measure on the downspout in order to drill a hole to put the diverter. What we're going to do is uh, level from the top of the barrel, and then we're going to mark three inches down. We're going to be drilling into the downspout. To do this, you'll want to use the large hole saw provided in your kit, and you're going to want to use safety gloves and safety glasses. Put in the diverter piece, pinch the sides, insert it into the downspout. To secure the diverter, use the two screws provided in your kit and screw them into the two spots around the diverter. Next, you'll insert the tube into the diverter. So just stretch it out. You'll shimmy it back and forth into the diverter to secure it twice. Once your rain barrel is all set up, put the lid on. There's two options. One of them can be like this, um, just a normal design. You can see there's a little sunflower here, it looks pretty nice. The other option is to flip it upside down and put in the filter piece. This then acts like a planter and you can fill it with um, shallow rooted flowers and herbs um, or just a pot of plant even. So around Halloween, you're going to want to winterize your rain barrel. You're just going to disconnect the connection, put on the winterizing cap, and then you're going to store the barrel upside down in a garage or in a basement uh, for the winter, and then you can bring it back out around Earth Day. So we recommend checking your gutters and your di diverter piece regularly uh, if it's not functioning properly and or just as a regular checkup. If possible, we recommend using the water in your barrel two to three days after a storm. For more information, make sure to check out FreshCoastGuardians.com. You can also find us on Facebook at Glendale Green Summer and the Milwaukee Metropolitan Sewerage District.